Accordion blocks inside Squarespace are a really cool interactive content block. We can click on a title and then content will be displayed underneath. Now in this tutorial, we're going to take that one step further and add an additional line of text to that clickable title. And we'll customize the style so it looks a little bit more unique than the title itself. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on the right-hand side of my screen, I've got an accordion block where we can click on the title and see the description text underneath. And here on the left-hand side of the screen is the code that we're going to use to add another line of text to our accordion title. You'll find this whole code underneath the video. To add this code to our Squarespace website, I'm gonna press the forward slash key on my keyboard to open up the program search. Here, I can quickly navigate to the custom CSS panel. Once we're here, I'll go ahead and zoom in on this code. I'll paste the code that's right here on the screen and you'll see instantly we have additional text there for our accordion. What we've done is we told the computer browser we're going to add content after the title. That content should be on its own line. Here's where I adjusted the font size, the font weight, and I gave it some letter spacing so it looks unique. We can add all kinds of font or text properties here, like maybe you wanna change the color to red, totally an option. The code underneath that is where we've actually created the text. We've labeled the first item in the accordion, first item. We labeled the second item in the accordion, second item, and the third is third item. You can change the text inside those quotation marks to anything you want it to be. Now I'll go ahead and increase this font size just a little bit because it's kind of hard to see on the screen there. And how about instead of red, we make it a bright yellow. You'll see as I'm editing the code, it looks like it goes away, but it comes back as soon as we finish completing the code. There we go, a lot more legible. And again, use any font and text properties you want to change the style of these items. Now, if you want each one to be a different color, we can do that too. Let's say we want the second accordion item to be a bright green. I'm gonna enter a new line of code, and here we can say color, lime, green, exclamation point, important. And there we go. Now the second item has a bright green second title. Now there are a few other important things to know about this code before you add it to your site. If you have a fourth accordion item, simply repeat this last one here and change the number three to four, and then update this text to represent what you want it to for the fourth item. Now we'll select save and I'll hop into edit mode to show you. If we hop into the accordion and create a new item, instantly our fourth item text is going to be displayed. Let's go ahead and select save and exit because there's one more trick that you need to know before we call this tutorial a wrap. If you have more than one accordion on your website, you're going to want to make some customizations here. On this page, I have three different accordions, and you can see here all of these are getting the first item text in that bright yellow, which is not what we want for these additional items. In this example, let's say we actually want to add the title for each one of these people directly underneath their name. We can use this same code to do that but we need to change our code a little bit to make that happen. I'll go ahead and remove that extra code and we'll reset the color back to where it was before because bright yellow is really hard to read on a white background. There we go, much better. All right, let's edit these individually. I'm going to turn on a Chrome extension called the Squarespace ID Finder. It's a free Chrome extension and you'll find a link to it directly underneath this video. When you turn it on, you'll be able to see the unique block ID, the unique number Squarespace has given each one of these content blocks. We can copy these and use them in our custom code. If I add this unique block ID to the very beginning of this code, you'll see that instantly that first item is only being added to this unique block ID. Our other two accordion blocks, those have gone back to normal. So what we want to do is grab the block ID for each accordion block we want to use. Now I'll go ahead and copy these codes. And because I've added extra text here, we're getting some errors inside our CSS panel because we're not quite done. Let's go ahead and turn off the Chrome extension because we have the IDs we need. Now we can copy this text and repeat ourselves after each one of those block IDs. Here we can change their titles to whatever else we want them to be. And you'll see that each one of these accordions has its own text directly underneath the name. Pretty awesome, right? And we can get really creative again with customizing things like the color for each one. Maybe you want one of the text to be red. Maybe you want the middle one to be a different font family. All of these are super customizable once we have the individual item in place. Just remember to grab the unique block ID for each one of those accordions. And if we scroll up here to the top, you'll see our other accordion block is exactly the way that it was before. Nothing there has changed because again, we're isolating these individual accordions by identifying their block ID. 
Before we call this tutorial a wrap, I've got to mention my free font and text property guide, available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash text guide. Here you'll see a list of the common font and text properties that I use to change characters in Squarespace, plus some example codes that you can try on your own Squarespace website. Grab this free guide at insidethesquare.co forward slash text guide. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to add that secondary line to our accordion title, and you'll find links to additional resources like that Chrome extension that you can use to quickly grab the block ID. This will help you isolate an individual accordion block so that title isn't added to every accordion block on your Squarespace website, just in case you have more than one. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if there's something you'd like to learn about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new tutorial ideas, and I'd love to help. Thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.